You're still watching The Morning Call here on African News. In our second leading story, we head to the Republic of Congo, where the Congolese Labour Party, or the PCT, which is the ruling party of President Denis Sassou is set to hold its fifth ordinary Congress in Brazzaville from 27 to 30 December. One of the main issues is the appointment of a new Secretary General. In addition, the members of the 50-year-old party are expected to vote on the candidacy of President Sassou in the upcoming 2021 elections route. Indeed, Nyasha, the ruling Congolese Labour Party, PCT, is holding its fifth Congress starting today until Monday with the presidential election scheduled for 2021 in mind. Our correspondent, Lord Machio, joins us now from Brazzaville with more on this matter. Hello and welcome to Brazzaville. So, Lord, this much-awaited congress, there'll be an election of the general secretary. Is there any tension expected? Well, the best we can say is that the main issue at stake at this fifth ordinary congress is the appointment of a new general secretary. The outgoing 65-year-old Pierre Ngolo will certainly not be a candidate for his own succession for the simple reason that he's also the president of the Senate. And the ruling party, PCT, is now refusing to accept the possibility of holding more than one post. To your question as whether there are expected tensions, I must say that we we are far from the 2006 Congress, where there were two radically conflicting camps, the re-founders and the conservatives who refused to see the party torn down. One party official said to me, and I quote, this time we have to be wise. Even if there are tensions, they must not come out into the open. We are the governing party and the whole country is watching us. End of quote. Now, Lord Martial, eight years ago, when Pierre Ngolo took over the secretariat, the party was divided between conservatives and its re-founders. And uh, you've just reminded us of that uh, earlier on. So has the image of the party changed among the Congolese? Have any new figures emerged? Well, regarding new figures who have emerged within the party, we can safely say that the first son, Denis Christel Sassou who is also a member of the National Assembly, is one of the most talked about figures in the party. The former head of the National Oil Company of Congo, SNPC, is even presented as a potential candidate for Pierre Ngolo's succession. He was closely involved in the preparations for the Congress. And to conclude on this, oh, this topic of the new figures, I must remind you that some political leaders, including members of the government, have recently disclosed, uh, dissolved their parties in order to join the ruling PCT. The first son is really seen to be in position for taking over or for having a, a position as the general secretary of the ruling party. Well, the next presidential election is in two years, and the opposition wants an extension of the presidential term and an election in 2023 without President Sassou Will the subject be on the agenda? Undoubtedly, as a political analyst explained to me a few days ago, organizing a congress one year before a major electoral deadline and not expressing clear support for the candidate would be a big and intolerable political mistake. This 2021 presidential election is therefore in the line of fire. The congress will be a great opportunity for influential members, activists and other sympathizers to express their support for President Denis the candidate of the PCT party in all elections ever known. It should also be recalled that the current constitution gives him the opportunity to stand as a candidate. But yesterday, Thursday, the main opposition party, the Pan-African Union for Social Democracy, said it expected the PCT Congress to take the decision that would stabilize the nation at all levels. The party even said that conditions would not be met for the presidential election in 2021. It's the first... It's the first secretary, Pascal Tassi, who suggested the transition until 2023, and the president, Denis Sassou would not stand for the election in that year.
le président Denis Sassou Nguesso ne se présente pas. Merci en tout cas, Lord Martial, pour vos insights.